Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on SQL Server Integration Services on IntelliPath. Do you know friends that companies have utilized SQL servers to host their data for decades. SSIS is completely integrated with SQL Server and jobs may be scheduled via SQL Server agent. Many businesses still continue to rely on SSIS to develop their data flow jobs across many IT systems offerings. Now before we discuss more about what exactly is SQL Server Integration Services, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. We are going to start our session with what is SSIS is. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about data integration. Then we are going to learn about advantages of data integration. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss the data integration solutions. And after completing that, we will move on to SSIS packages and at the end, we are going to conclude our session with SSIS tasks. So let's start with what is SQL Server Integration Services. SQL Server Integration Services is a component of a Microsoft SQL Server database program that is basically used to conduct a variety of integration activities. It is a data warehouse tool used for data extraction, data loading into another database transformations such as cleaning, aggregating, combining data and so on. SSIS also includes graphical tools and windows wizards for workflow functions including delivery email messages, FTV procedures and data sources. SSIS is used for a variety of transformation and integration tasks. The SSIS tool is utilized in data migration as a whole. SQL Server Integration Services is mostly used to perform two functions. First is the data integration. SQL Server Integration Services facilitates data integration by merging data from numerous sources and providing consumers with unified data. Then there is a workflow. Workflow can be used for a variety of tasks. Sometimes we need to execute certain specified actions or take a specific path based on a time period a parameter supplied to the package or data search from the database. It can be used to automate SQL Server database maintenance and to update multidimensional analytic data. But the question is, what exactly is data integration? If we talk about data integration, it is a process of integrating data from numerous sources. The information can be diverse or homogeneous. Structured, semi-structured or unstructured data can exist. Data integration is a process through which data from disparate sources is combined to generate useful data. Now, let's discuss the advantage of data integration. The first one is it minimizes the complexity of data. It means that it minimizes the data complexity thus allowing the data to be provided to any system. Data integration preserves complexity while simplifying connections and making it simple to distribute data to any system. Then there is data reliability. Data integrity is a critical in data integration. It is concerned with data cleansing and validation. To get high quality and resilient data, this data integration paradigm is applied. Data integration aids in the elimination of errors, inconsistency and duplication. Then we have simple data collaboration. Data collaboration includes accessibility. Accessibility implies that the data can be quickly modified and that users can easily integrate it into projects, discuss their finding and maintain the data up to date. Then finally, it allows smarter business decisions. It allows you to make better selections and integrated data refers to the process of transmitting information within a corporation so that we may better understand the information. An integrated data set is far more convenient and useful. That's why helping in making smarter business decision. Now let's move forward and discuss the components of SSIS. The first one is control flow which is basically used for storing containers and tasks. Then is data flow which is source destination and transformation. Then we have the event handler for managing messages and email. Then we have package explorer for offering an all-in-one view. And finally, we have parameters for fostering user interaction. Now, let's move to the data integration solutions. The first data integration solution is ETL. It is the most significant process in the SQL Server integration services, which is ETL. 
ADL is actually a process of extracting, transforming and loading data into the data warehouse. ETL is a process of transforming the data into a meaningful data and storing it in the data warehouse. The data can be in any format including XML files, flat files and database files. It also guarantees that the information housed in data warehouse is relevant, accurate and of high quality and also helpful to business users. It is easily accessible allowing the data warehouse to be used successfully and efficiently. By retrieving structured and unstructured data from numerous data sources, it also assists the company in making data-driven decisions. Then we have a scrub. The original data is examined in this phase. It checks the data to see if there are any problems. It uses artificial intelligence and approaches to detect data flaws or inconsistencies. In a nutshell, it determines whether or not product quality is met. Then we have is transform. Transformation is actually the process of converting the source format into the desired format. And transformation is a process of modeling or modifying data to meet the needs of user. Changes can be made, number of columns or rows. Then we have load and index. If I talk about load and index, it is the fourth step. It loads the data and validates the amount of processed rows and validates the amount of processed rows. After data has been loaded, indexing is employed. Keep track of the amount of rows placed into the data warehouse. Indexing also aids in determining whether or not the data is in correct format. Now let's move forward and discuss the SSIS packages. If we move forward and understand what a package is, then we'll understand that the package is kind of a crucial building piece in the SQL Server integration services where you exactly code. Here code does not refer to the programming languages. It refers to the development that you undertake. The SQL Server Integration Services package is used for development. SSIS is primarily used for the ETL process which is carried out within the SSIS package. Basically, SSIS package is composed of three parts. The first one is connections. The SSIS package will include some connectors which are used to connect to the various data sources. Then we have control flow elements. Here, the SQL Server Integration Services packages is made of two parts, the control flow components and the data flow components. Basically, workflows are handled by control flow component. Workflow implies that we complete some jobs in steps and the sequence is accomplished by the control flow. Then finally, we have data flow elements. The data flow elements actually transform the data. Now let's discuss about the SQL Server Integration Services task. Do you know exactly that we can add tasks to the SQL Server Integration Services package? A task is considered as a unit of work where we will have many types of tasks to execute about various types of labor. There are many other sorts of tasks. However, we will focus on the most typical ones in the SQL Server Integration Services. The first one is carry out the SQL task. It executes SQL statements against relational database. Then you also have a data flow assignment which is primarily used to read data from one or more data sources, transform the data, load the data into one or more destination. Then you have process analysis service task which is used to process SSAS cube or tabular model objects. Then you have package task execution. Here. In this job, this is actually responsible for calling the other packages in the same project. The variable values can be even passed to the calling package. Then we have file system task. Here it can be used to perform the manipulations in the file system such as moving files, deleting files, renaming the files and changing the directory. Then we have the FTP task. IFTP tasks are basically used to perform the operations on the files and folders. For example, if you want to send or receive the file from the FTP server to the local directory, then SSIS FTP task is used. Then you have the script task. In this task also allows you to write the .NET code that you want to perform. Then we have file system task. It is basically used to perform the manipulations in the file system such as moving files, deleting files, renaming files or changing the directory. And finally, we have the send mail task. This is actually used to send an email. It is mainly used when you want to notify the users regarding the state of the task, whether it is in a running state or some error has occurred. That was all for today's session. 
I hope so guys you enjoyed our today's video on SQL Server integration services. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.